I have a quick video for you guys on how to fix an app that isn't working properly. I'm going to be using the Google Nexus 5 16 gig phone here for this. It is running Android KitKat 442 and it's all stock, it's not rooted. So what this is going to help you guys do is learn how to go in and manage your apps. Um, if you're experiencing issues with third party apps, apps you've downloaded from the Google Play Store, anything like that. Um, if it's frozen on you, locked up, you know, just to help to give that app a refresh. So this is going to help you uh, learn how to force stop the app, how to clear cache from within the app, how to clear data from within the app. So any data you have saved in the app is going to be erased. And then I'm probably going to uninstall and, re and show you guys how to reinstall the app. So what we'll do is we'll start with a, a force stop. So I'm going to start with the Weather Channel app here. At the top you can see I have a notification that says 35 degrees in that little square blue box. That is the temperature where I live outside and that's kind of cold but we're dealing with that so I'm gonna say that the Weather Channel app I opened it up here and I can't get nowhere with it like say you're clicking on stuff and it's just all locked up and frozen or it's screwed up on you somehow what you want to do is go into your settings find your apps under device find apps now in here you're gonna see the apps that are downloaded if you swipe to the left you're gonna see apps that are running and services that are running and if you swipe again to the left, you're going to see all, which is like all your apps. So if you cannot find your apps under the first screen, which is downloaded, just swipe across until you find all. So they will all be listed there. Now, I know that the Weather Channel is the one that I downloaded. So I am going to be under the downloaded heading. So I'm going to scroll down through until I find the Weather Channel app. Click the Weather Channel app. And here's where you can kind of manage this app. This is kind of neat because you can force stop the app and we'll start with that. If you click force stop, you get this pop up. You know, if you force stop the app, it's going to misbehave. That really doesn't matter. Um, we know we're trying to force stop the app. So the notification that you see up here is going to disappear when I force stop the app. So there, if I go back to the home screen, you've seen that disappear. Um, that app is no longer running. Now, that simply force stops the app and you restart the app gives it a restart. That actually may correct your issue. And of course you can see the notification pops back up. So if I close out, you can see it's right back to where it was. This is not going to hurt your phone, anything like that. This is only going to help you guys if you're experiencing issues. So that right there may have been enough to fix it. Um, if not, go back into settings and go back into apps. Um, under downloaded, I'm going to find my weather channel app again. This time, I'm going to clear cache. So if I clear cache, you can see, you know, you can click that multiple times. I suggest going in and clearing cache every now and then on any of your apps. It's not going to hurt anything. Cache is a good thing, but it's nice to give it a refresh and, you know, reopen the app and go in there and use it and create new cache. So every now and then go in and clear cache. Um, that's really not going to do much. Um, you can go back out and reopen it and see if that helps your problem. Um, it may actually fix some of your issues um, that's you know something you can try that's just the second option let's say you know you go back just the app's still not working right so go back into apps under downloaded and I'm gonna find the weather channel and now what I want to do is clear data and that's gonna automatically clear, clear cache anyway so I'm gonna click clear data and then you can see what it says all the apps data is gonna be deleted permanently so it includes the files, the settings, accounts, and databases. This is um, data from within the app. It's not data um, on, your, on your phone specifically. Like I do have pictures on here, but this is not going to delete my pictures. So just be careful with this. Just be clear that you understand. It's just like deleting data from within the app. So click OK. And as you can see, that knocks these ones out. You can't select them. Okay. So now if I go back, you can also see that it turned off notifications up here. There is no more notifications for the Weather Channel. So this is a complete, see, it brings it right back to when you would first download it from like Google Play Store. So the app has been completely cleared of all its settings. Everything's back to default. This is exactly how it looks when you first download it. So you just, you know, tell it, yes, I agree. And I, I'm going to allow mine to use my location services. So, And then there you go. The app is all, all back to normal. So 
that's one way, you know, to help um, you guys out if you're experiencing issues with, you know, different apps. The other thing you can do is go into your uh, apps and then let's say you just don't um, want the app on your phone no more. So you can go in here and you can click uninstall. This is actually just going to uninstall the app from your phone. So there it's done. It disappeared. It's no longer on my phone or in any of my screens here on my home screen. All right. So now if I want to go back in though real quick, let's say I just wanted to actually uninstall it entirely off my phone as we just did there, but I, I actually want to go back in and reinstall it now. So this will probably be, you know, the last step you could try. So just go into your, um, go into your apps. And of course, it's going to be down, down in the list a little bit. I know mine is for the uh, weather channel. And of course, up top, you can see where it says installed or all. Just make sure you select all so that way you can find your apps. So here, here's the Weather Channel app. So now I can just click it and install it back on my phone. If I click accept, that is going to download and reinstall the app on my phone. Installing the Weather Channel app. So if I close out of that, there it is. Pops back up. Just like new, just like I said after we cleared data on it. And what clearing data allows you to do is just clear data and then you don't have to uninstall it. But this fourth step we did here, we went ahead and uninstalled it. So it's back to normal. Now that should fix your app and then your app would be, you know, of course working. Okay, so the other way you can actually uninstall the Weather Channel app is go in here um, and hold it, drag it up to where it says uninstall. And it says you want to install the app, say OK. Now you can't do that from the shortcut from the home screen. You have to go into all apps in order to do that. So what you want to do here is I'm going to go back into the Play Store. And I'm just going to get back out. I want you guys to see something here. If, if I know I just uninstalled that app, now it's no longer on my phone. OK, and I'm and in the Google Play Store. If you click and hold you can actually delete it from your Google Play Store. So there it says, it says remove the weather channel from my apps. And if I click OK, that's actually going to delete it from my store account, which I'm not going to do that. So you can do it that way, or there's a little X right there, if you can see it by my thumb. Um, as long as it doesn't say installed, like the one above it here is Chase. That's installed on my phone, so it says installed. So there is no X available in that box there because that's tech, that's actually installed on my phone, and I cannot remove that unless I do it through uninstalling it. So we already uninstalled the Weather Channel app. So let's say we want to remove it from the Google Play Store. So you there, if you click that X, you can remove the Weather Channel um, from your apps. And that actually removes it from the Google Play Store. So if you log in on your desktop computer and go to your Google Play account and refresh the page within a you know, couple of minutes, you'll see that it disappeared. So that's one cool thing. If you guys download a bunch of apps and you want to get rid of them, um, you can go in and actually remove them from your Google Play Store. And that's one way you can do it. So thanks a lot, guys, for watching my video. Um, I hope that maybe helps somebody out with your apps if you're having trouble. So hope you guys subscribe, like, comment, you know, you guys make sure you go in and try this and see if it helps you out. And thanks a lot. You guys have a good one.